Hello everyone, my name is Carlos. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to properly install a mod in Elden Ring. For instance, I will use two of the most popular mods at the moment. The Sekiro Arts mod, which basically allows us to play the game like it was actually Sekiro. And the Karian Combo Warriors mod, the one that make DMC fans go crazy. I've already made a showcase of these two mods, be sure to check them out just after you finish this video. So without anything further to say, let's get started. In the description down below I left 4 download links. The first one is for the mod engine 2 and the last 3 correspond respectively to the mods that we are going to install. Once you have downloaded the content of those links, we are going to extract them all. Now we got 4 different folders. Let's drag the mod engine folder far away from the others in order to avoid mistakes. Open the folder and look for a .bat file called launchmod underscore elden ring. We are going to start the game through this file because this way the mod engine will automatically turn off the online and the easy anti-cheat so we can play without any risk of being banned. This method only works in original copies of the game and you don't have to put this folder in your game directory, it works even if you just leave it here in the desktop like I do myself. If you have a cracked copy of Elden Ring come on some buy the game, you can use UXM if you don't have an original copy of Elden Ring, but I'm not going to explain that today. Ok back to the video. Create a desktop shortcut for this file, just for practicality. Now we go back to the mod engine to folder and we are going to look for a subfolder called mod. Here we are going to paste the mods we just downloaded. Before doing that I have to say that some mods will not work together because sometimes they use the same parameter modification. In this case I recommend you looking for a tutorial video of JAP or CSV merger. I personally I personally do not like to merge mod because it's a little complicated and it's easier for me to just remove a mod and paste the one I want to try at that specific moment. So let's begin with the Sekiro Arts mod. First of all we are going to copy the content inside of our Sekiro mod folder and we will paste it inside the mod folder located in the mod engine main folder. This sounds more complicated than it actually is. It's exactly the same process for the Karian Combo Warriors mod and the Virgin Armor. And that my friends is how we install a mod in Elden Ring. Now let's try our both mods. Sadly these two mods have to be played one at the time. You can choose between Sekiro Arts or Karian Combo Warriors with Virgil Look. Now as you can see our mods works perfectly fine. We can play this game now like it's Sekiro, like a Mortal Blade, Spiral Cloud Passage, One Mind, you know the cool combat arts in Sekiro. Or maybe we prefer playing like Virgil in DMC, we just use the current combo warriors mod, we choose the sword moveset or the fist moveset, it's all about preference. It's important to say that this process is the same for almost every mod, there are a few mods that works with a different installation method, but in this case the main part of the good mods, the actually good mods, works with the mod engine method. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel, peace.